Alright, so you guys probably seen the following lines of code in front of every function written in assembly. Uh, keep in mind that I'm using AT&T syntax. So the lines go as follows. It goes something like this. It says push this register called EBP and move this register, I mean move ESP to EBP. So let's go at this line by line and try to try to see what exactly it does. Let's use our function add as it, as the example. So add if you didn't if you didn't watch the previous videos is just a function that takes two arguments and adds them together and returns their sum. So this is what add does here, but our main function is the one that actually calls add, which is up here, and add is called on this line here. So we know that the arguments of a function are pushed onto its stack in order from right to left. So its arguments, so this is add stack, add stack, and the arguments are going to get pushed on from right to left. So, and we also know that this thing called the return address is also pushed on. I'll explain what this does in my previous video. But anyway, so after that happens, we know that since there's this register called ESP which always points to the top of the stack, it's going to be pointing to the return address here which is at the top of the stack so keep in mind that in memory in my drawing here these are high memory addresses and these are low memory addresses so anyway I explained that in another video as well why that's important anyway so ESP is pointing to the top of the stack always 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 so let's go at this line this code line by line. Let's see what it see what it's trying to tell us. So first we get this com we get this line that says push EBP. So pushing EBP means push EBP onto the stack. Onto add stack. Since we're just ignore this C code here. Let's say we were writing add in assembly. And we know that these lines are always, always seem to come up when a function is written in assembly. So we say push EBP. And this value of EBP is the value that EBP has before our function really does anything. So, so we'll kind of, we'll call it, we won't call it EBP, but we'll call it old EBP since it's really an old value. It doesn't have anything to do with our function. It's just a value that it had before it even entered our function. So, since we push this value old EBP onto the stack, we know that ESP's got to keep pointing to the top of the stack. So, ESP's got to move down. So, ESP won't be up there anymore. ESP will actually be down here here now. Let me draw it in red. ESP will be down here now, pointing at this old EBP spot. So that's what happens on this line right here, this line. So let's move on to the next line. So in this next line, what happens is this line of code is basically telling us alright make EBP EBP point to whatever ESP is pointing to that's what it's saying it's saying move the value that ESP is pointing to into EBP or in other words simpler words make EBP 
point to the same thing that ESP is pointing to. Alright, so what does that do? So we ha we know that we got this other register called EBP. So EBP is actually going to point to the same thing that ESP is pointing to. So, and that's it. That's all this thing called the prologue. This is called the prologue. This here, this whole thing here is called the prologue. So, oh, wait a sec. This thing there is going to be called the prologue. And it's, it's, it might not seem very important now, but the prologue is a very important part of code. Especially, uh, well, uh, functions, if you're going to run a function, you're going to use the stack. So, yeah, that's basically all the prolog is doing. It does that, it makes ESP and EBP point to the same thing, and it pushes EBP's value, its old value, the one that, that we really didn't do anything to, onto the stack. And, alright, I'll... I'll hopefully touch on what exactly why exactly this is important in the next video.